Hi everybody, welcome to the Kirsty Meekin YouTube channel. Um, today we have Andrea in. She's had a fill, so she is ready for design work. So I'm going to do this design. I've kind of, I've got it in my head. I'm visualising it. I'm sure everybody else will be like, "What the hell are you doing?" But I hope it works. If it doesn't, oh well. You can watch me make a right fool of myself. So <laughs> let's have a go. <laughs> So Andrea's got full set, nice ballerina shaped nails and what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of glitter, gel polish and pigment and there's going to be a lot going on but it'll look nice, mm -hmm. I hope. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to get out of the way this, um, it's a bit messy so I'm just going to do it first. We're going to use some Lacente today. So I will need quite a few bits and bobs from the centre and I've got all of these colours. So I've got, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Can we slice slime up? It does. Yeah. Um, Black Magic. Then we've got Phone Home. Then we've got Great Scott. White magic, and then we've got carried a watermelon. <laughs> you like that one? Yeah, I like that one. Um, now I've got the matte top coat, I'm not 100% that I'm going to use it, I don't know, but I've got it out just in case. I've got normal top coat, I've got the foil gel glue, and then I've got the base coat. Now, this base coat I find thicker than other brands, but I'm going to use that to my advantage today. So, I'm going to be using the Nail Gaga um, Stamping Jelly Stamper. Thank you, my love. Andrea's looking at me like, what? What the hell is this? Um, all will become clear as mud. Clear as mud, yeah. So, I'm going to use pigments. So, these pigments are from Nail by Lucy. Not used these yet. Don't know why it says nail glitter because it clearly isn't. But the pots of pigment. So I'm going to choose the ones I want. So we're going to have hmm, that one, that one, that one, that one. And better blue fit dads. Now this stuff will go everywhere, so I'm going to put down a piece of kitchen towel, give them a tap just to try and get some of the pigment down to the bottom, and then let's just, right, so I'm going to open all these up, we're going to get the jelly stamper, then we're going to get the pigment. You're going to rub this in. And let's have some orange. Overlap it. I kind of want to overlap until they blend a little bit. It doesn't need to be perfect, don't worry about that. Just 
yellow and you need a tiny bit so this these pots are just last so long So I've managed to get on the each colour twice and that was completely fluke. <laughs> I didn't know it would be quite, I was quite impressed. Right okay so now put those lids on because oh my god I will make a right big mess. I think she sneezed. Mm. Yeah, you'd look like an actual <laughs> rainbow. Yeah. A neon rainbow. Yeah. Right, then we're going to get, I've got the Nail Kami, um gel paint and brush. I'm going to smooth this over it. Try not to mix it too much. It is difficult. I kind of want to just slide it over. There isn't, you, you can do it this way as well. Let me just show you another way. It's up to you. You can put it on a spatula and scrape it over like this as well. Are you sure you're doing nails today and not just messing around? That looks so pretty, doesn't it? You look like you're making a cake there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, looks nice though, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to cure that. I knew you'd just start doing that. Pop me that on the lamp, darling. Without um, messing it up. <laughs> no! It's too You haven't. It's too well, low. It's too tall. It's too tall. Oh no! It's too tall. You want a job done? Oh, I didn't think we'd lift the bloody lid off, did I? If it doesn't work now, it's all Andrea's fault. Yeah, it just <laughs> yeah. I didn't think we'd lift that up. That looks so cool in there. I just do need to just take a little picture of that. Look how it looks in the lamp. Looks like jellyfish. Oh my god, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> That's madness. Madness, I tell you. Mm, it's not going to crack. I want it to tear and crack, but not that neatly. I have to do the gel polish in him. The gel paint is too. Uh, I think you need polish to, mm. it's harder. Well, no. If you want to crack, you want something that's got less flex in it. I know, that's why I thought that would have worked better. I thought gel polish would be like harder than that, gel paint. I know. I know what I'm going to do. Did we just have a failure? Yeah. Oh. Looks pretty though. We did say it could go wrong. It's yeah. Andrew's fault now. So. Not yeah, blame me. It's definitely Andrew's fault. Yeah. See, I'm not giving up yet. Right. Here we go again. Right, where's my yellow one? Right, this time I'm going to use paint, but I need to go thin. So I'm definitely going to use the 
spatula it because I want to like scrape it thin like that. In theory, the thinner it is, the quicker it'll dry. Yeah? So the gel paint was too strong, so it didn't have that desired effect. That's what I want it to do. Right. Like that. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm just going to pull and stretch it a bit. So maybe use your old one because you are going to trash it a little bit. Use your old jelly stamper. Okay, so just leave that there, man. And then what we're going to do is on Andrea's nails, I'm going to use the um, Black Magic. I'm going to do a full nail. We're going to do some smile lines as well. Put me that on the lamp. Second coat. Put me that in. Now I'm either going to rely on the sticky layer of the gel polish or do I put the foil gel on it? I would say put the foil gel on, mm. you know, better to make it super sticky, need it, no, have it and not need it, yeah, than need it and not have it, yeah, guns and condoms, <clears throat> okay, yeah, right, one coat, thin, Show me that. Right, so now what I'm attempting to do is stamp this onto a nail, yeah? I don't want to do the full nail. I'm going to bend it so it sort of crackles like this. You get this crackle. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh my god. Yes! This is amazing! I'm so happy! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! This is pretty cool. I love it! Look at that! That is so cool! You don't want like that little bit there though. It's too straight. Just tap it so it's definitely all stuck. <gasps> I love it. Oh, yeah. Is that, that is so cool. That's gorgeous. There's something very 1990s about it as well. Yeah. It's lovely when you get excited about like that. <gasps> oh my God. Right, we're going to top coat this. Because it will be super sticky at the minute and I've got to seal in the pigment. Two coats of that. So pop me that in. We'll do the next coat, coat when we come to do the rest of them. Ah, I like it. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a smile line as well. We're going to do a smile line of this one with the black. 
I'm going to pop some down here first. I'm going to use the Lacente liner brush. And then I'm going to do a little mark of how low I want it to come. And then a little dot at either side for how high. I'm going to come from here and sweep it up. And you can use your liner brush to create your curve. Sweep down. I always like painting from left to right. So you'll notice I went from left to right here and I also went from left to right here. You can come down confident so now I can paint the rest of it black just gonna use that liner brush to get in here because I could possibly twitch the skin and with a liner brush, I'm not going to touch the skin. Pop me that in. Then we do the second coat when you're using gel polish. It's a lot easier to just then push up to where you've gone because the gel kind of wants to sit there so it will slightly move to that smile line. Put that in. I want to now test if this does go on the sticky layer without without the foil glue. I feel like it's it's my duty. Oh, dog. That is pretty cool that it still works on just the sticky layer. <laughs> this is so much fun. That is just so cool. I love this. Look at that. It's just dead it. smart, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. Dead cool. Yeah, I love it. So that must have been an inspiration without knowing about exactly. it today. <laughs> Them. Right, so with the other colours that I've got, we're going to do some waves in all the different colours.
Now, once you've got those initial sort of waves on, this part's a lot easier because you're kind of following what you've done. You can slightly adjust it, make some thicker, some thicker, some thicker, some thicker, some thicker, some thinner. <laughs> Whew. Um, put that in. So we'll put quite a bit of product here so it would be nice and thick and then as it runs out of product it gets thinner. And I can just tease that and make it a little bit neater. You can even come through that bulk of product and make it a little bit longer. Just join them up. So I don't want to put that bulk down here now because I want that part thin. So I'm going to make sure I pull through what's already on there. So I know I'm going to transfer that extra on there. I don't want it to be too bulky. So wherever you want it thicker, you can apply more. You can even like draw like the section, do the outlines of the section, like that, and then pull from that bulk of product. So I can keep pulling through this because there's quite a lot of product. Keep dragging it down. Right, pop them in. Right, we're going to take the black now. All the spaces that are not coloured, we're going to fill with black. So I'm going to take the majority of the product through the middle of that space and then I'll start to do the edges.
so I just put them now there's a bit that the film the film the camera's not recorded which was so I added in some of this gorgeousness to the black but all I did was use the foil gel so I top coated it buffed it and then put the foil gel on where the black is did my little and it come off beautifully and then I top coated just buffed it lower it on the last top coat now sorry about that folks Do you want bling on? What do you think? I don't think it needs it. It's fine with me. If you don't think it needs it. Well, yeah, I got a minute. Maybe just a few. Okay. Literally just a few. Just a few. Just a few, do Right, where's me amazing crystal totalis jangalo? Right, we're going to put a bit of that on. Yeah. Where's my Pammy Picker rubber? I'm going to use the pointed end of the Pammy Picker rubber to create this shape. So I'm just guiding that gel into the position I want it. I love them, they're a bit crazy. They're giving me Ibiza vibes. They're giving me 1990s, 1980s, and they're yeah. also giving Glow me, stick. oh yeah, raving. Yeah. They are raving nails yeah. right there. I've never been raving in my life, but yes. So I'm gonna use, this has been sent to me by Nath. They do like loads of tutorials and stuff. So we're gonna do, put that on. This one is, Strawberry daiquiri. So you yeah, guys, um, everything I've used today will be listed below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've made it all the way to the, to the end, oh my God, go give us a thumbs up because that's amazing that you've made it all the way to the end of the video. Um, yeah, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da, duck!